Hello and welcome back dear friends, it's me, Aldo, and we are back in our campaign of Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous. Uh, why is there precise strike? Whenever you and an ally who also has this feat of flanking the same creature... Ah, okay. With each successful mini attack. This comes with the thing that we have. Okay. Uh, we went up to the third floor and surprise, there is a monster trying to keep us away from Staunton and um, Miyago. Um, I think the monster is first. No, it's last. So we can attack it. And we will. Pig is first, so let's try to hit him. Nah. Of course we didn't hit him. Okay, um, let's give the pig some resources. Um, Sina, can you charge there? Nope, because you're out of range. Okay, let's move then. Wolchiv, um... Let's do the mage armor on the big... Wait. Ah. Totally full. I, I misclicked. Okay. You. Will go up here. And then. Let's just. Let's just try to hit him better. Oh, come on. Really? Let's heal start it out fast. They're rot new. Okay. As Camellia, um, let's do this and yep, you do. Okay, you will take a five foot step back, like here, 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 and shoot at the stupid Minotaur. Really? 24 points of damage to my poor little sweet pig. Do you have a 
spell resistance 15. I think we can overcome this. No, we didn't overcome the spell resistance. Just rolled a 9 instead of a 15. Uh, instead of a 10. Come on, Cedar. Kill it. Old Chief, you can do it. Hmm. <laughs> Camellia got the parting blow. Okay. Mm, a great. It's called blocker. What does blocker do? He does do one to twelve slashing damage. He's plus one and cold iron. Is it a two-handed weapon? Yes, of course. I know this plus one cold iron great axe lands a hit on an enemy. The enemy must pass a fortitude saving throw or become prone for one round. Okay. Nice, but it's two-handed, and we really don't don't have use for two-handed weapons. So you, no, pig. Ah, oh, come on. Let's. Use this. Um. Especially the pig should use it here because it can't use it in the fight. A lot of room up here. Let's see. No. It's quite small. So up there is something. Oh, and there is the <laughs> there is the bloodstone. Look at that. Okay, we probably should um should do some buff. Because I'm pretty sure that we will meet our doom here. Let's save this. That's one big stone, no doubt about it. The city's greatest site before it was tossed here. Upside down, that is. <laughs> okay. How can we destroy it? Ah. That's one of these things. Upon entering the chamber where the vanquished wardstone resides, the crusaders could have expected many things, an ambush, deadly spells, or a horde of enemies, but not an empty hole. Still and silent with no Minago or her henchmen, only the obelisk and glimmers of light dancing on the dirty floor. There is the dwarf. I mean, he went the same way as us. And there were no doors. But then again, all is not as placid as it seems. Artipat fast once again hears the seething choir. This time, the voices sound louder, more insistent. One step, another, and suddenly Slatipat fast sees the wardstone not as it was a moment ago, but somehow completely different. It is no monolith, monolith, monolith emanating light it is a cage made of pure energy the place where the scary struck 
looks like a festering wound from which tendrils of dirty red and purple darkness creep throughout the entire artifact. There, inside, two hosts of flaming warriors are locked in battle. One is light, the other blood red. But they are all waiting. For what? Hearken unto the light warrior's words. Hearken unto the red warrior's light words. What, what, what color is light? Yeah, well, let's do this. The light warriors speak of duty, service and sacrifice made. Their words reveal the truth. Ah, we can use the Aeon path now. Aeon is true neutral, I think. Each one contains a host of angels, volunteers from heaven, who committed to his indefinite imprisonment in order to guard mankind from the demonic harm. They make no complaint, they ask no easing of their burden. If the goddess and her herald offered them the same choice again, they would consider it the ultimate honor to sacrifice their freedom for the cause. The angels know the Skari's evil plan. When the last of the light warriors falls, the Wardstone will become a dead explosive that will destroy everything around it, and the other obelisks in the chain will meet the same fate. The light warriors pray for help. They plead for someone to strike down their fallen brethren. Those who succumb, succumbed to the demonic corruption are already beyond salvation. But if they are stopped, it will allow the wardstone to heal and the light hosts the light host to continue its duty. The crystal chisel is covered in the ruins of King Agres is the ideal weapon for this task. It will cut out the corruption along with those who have succumbed to it and restore the wardstone's full power. The eyes of the Aeon, until now slumbering peacefully in the hero's soul, awaken. They urge the hero to look upon the wardstone through them. The Aeon's eyes wish to see. Okay. Look on the angels with the Aeon's eyes. Let's do this. The eyes of the Aeon pierce through essence, matter and time and reveal the truth of the wardstone. The stones are just as much a perversion as the world wound itself. The demons are not of this plane, but this did not give Iomede and her herald license to disrupt the balance still further by imprisoning untold numbers of angels in stone. A crime committed in the name of good does not offset those committed in the name of evil. It only multiplies the harm done to the cosmic order. Okay. So, now we will have to... I mean, we can't choose anything anyway. The Red Warriors speak of pain and lies and disillusionment. Their words reveal the truth of the wardstones, the area surrounding the world wound is built on the bondage and suffering of countless angels. Every injury dealt to the wardstone, these angel uh, dealt to the wardstone, these angels experience physical agony. The pain is driving them insane. Deceived by the hollow platitudes about duty and service, they suffer torment day after day for the sake of ungrateful mortals who do not even know their names enough. The Red Warriors know that their blades now turned against their former brethren, hasten the triumph of Discari and his servants. Once the Wardstone has been wholly conquered by corruption, it will become a deadly weapon under the demon's control. Some of the obelisks, prisoners, 
beg for freedom while others pray only for death. But they all agree that this existence is unendurable. The crystal chisel discovered in the ruins of Canabras is the perfect weapon for a massacre. It cannot force open the door for those who wish it to escape, but it can destroy the wardstone along with all its prisoners. Willing and unwilling, none will be able to claim victory, but all will be gifted a merciful death that will end their suffering once and for all. Okay. Um, there it is. The fate of two angelic hosts. Faithful and fallen, and the fate of Canabras, perhaps even all Mandeth, now rests in the hero's hands. How will he proceed? Whatever this crystal chisel may be, its power is great indeed. It can destroy it long with all its inhabitants, or it can mend it by killing the angel defectors within. What it cannot do, alas, is free those who wish to escape and keep the stone intact for those who wish to remain. The Aeon's AIs perceive a solution to the goddess's tinkering, one that will cost no lives. One strike with the crystal chisel at the perfect point and the stone's magic will be destroyed and all the angels will go to their rightful place to heaven or to the plains of chaos and evil the remnant of the eon's power draws all that is left of the eon's existence to the hero urging him to put things right but somewhere deep within the hero's soul the familiar ire sieves endless rage unbridled hatred what will happen if it is unleashed here at the stone? Okay. Lawful requires angel perfect path. Interesting. Will the stones magic and return the celestials to their rightful plane as the eon would have wanted? Hmm. I'm not sure how can this be lawful and leave the demonic fury lawful requires angel mythic path cleanse the wardstone destroying the fallen celestials or quell the anger of the red warriors by offering them peace destroy the stone with all the angels inside yeah, probably this could be good, but that's that's the EM pathway. The Wardstone, the goddess's weapon used in her violation of the cosmic order. The demon crafted chisel discovered at the scene of the very same crime. It would be only fair if both instruments ceased to exist in the same moment. Once one precise strike and the chisel will cut through the stone like a hot knife through butter, nullifying the criminal magic of the inheritor. With cries of terror and amazement, the imprisoned angels go to their rightful places. The faithful to heaven, the fallen to the plains of chaos and evil. The chisel turns to dust, and with a blinding flash, the stone follows it into oblivion. The eyes of the Aeon look on it on in satisfaction. The Aeon's mission is complete. Though it came at a high price, what remains of the Aeon can now rest in peace, knowing that the world is in good hands. And as for the mortal who brought all this to an end, seeing the world through the Aeon's eyes has left its mark on him. The Aeon's orderly worldview, not unlike a shifting grid of coordinates, of coordinates has been imprinted on his eyes. Eyes which will henceforth be able to see truths that often await ordinary mortals. The crusaders succeeded. The angel's battle within the wardstone has ended and the threat to the entire chain of stones 
has been eliminated. Of course, this has won no guarantees of safety for the future. What happened here can happen again. The Mandevians can no longer rely on Iomedes' gift as once they did, but the danger has passed for now. Items lost, purple stone knife. Okay. Close. Okay, you could probably have done uh, other things as well. And we don't see anything. Hello? Ah, uh, of course, we crashed the game. No, we didn't. No, we lost all our stuff. That's too stupid. Look at them, Sucha. They're rejoicing like children. The storm is coming and none of them sees it. Shall we add to their festivities, my lady? How about a little lightning to burn their flesh? Oh no, Sucha. We'll leave such frolics to Discari's little gnats. We are here for something else. Okay. Something I have greatly anticipated for a long, long time. Okay. They now look different. This was before. Was this me? Carried inside there. Saving game is impossible. Oh my god, the blisteringly vivid memory releases you and you return from the depths of the past to the present. You feel a fresh breeze on your face. The energy expelled from the wardstone has blown the roof of the great garrison. Okay. The Wardstone's energy suffuses you, and through you flows into your allies. Whoa! What the? Ah. Okay. What? We got Mystic what Power. How? Uh, I see. Tricks from your pathetic goddess. <laughs> so even Iomade will resort to dirty tricks when you have her cornered. Don't celebrate yet, mortal. There's no one to hide you from me now. Okay. Look, you're already wounded. Pathetic mortal. I'll have mm -hmm. no trouble finishing you off now. Uh, really? You'll die anyway. I uh, saw, so, but there is no pain. All you feel is power fitting you. Right before your eyes, the edges of the wound start to join and heal until it closes fully. Okay. Okay, we did something lawful before, so we could do something chaotic right now. The demoness looks formidable with her out entourage around her, but her threat ring hollow to you now. You look at her and feel like a titan looking at an arm. Overwhelming, all-conquering power fills you. What that little demoness. Those irritating hordes of the abyss. The gods themselves are your only equals. <laughs> oh, now we are going to have some fun. Well, fun for me. I don't know about you. <laughs> 
Uh, I'll drag your eyeless height the length and breadth of the breath. <laughs> Okay, let's do the chaotic thing. Demons love having fun at others' expense. It would be only fair if we had a little fun at yours. <laughs> yeah. We'll see who's having more fun when I've got my claws in you. Your goddess sent you to die. You think that's the victory? All you've done is postpone the deaths of all the other mortals. And not even for very long. But your wait for death is over. You won't see what I'm going to do to your little friends, because I'm going to kill you right now. Okay. Okay, Wulchiv. Let's start. Um, by killing one of these. They are all um, flat-footed right now. I think we can get there with a five-foot step. Yes, we can attack him four times. So let's do this first. Interesting. I think this will not hold on forever. You've crossed the wrong line. Waves of fire, fireball, yay! The Brimorak. This is the Brimorak, isn't it? Yep. Amelia. Let's do this. Okay, uh, let's do the best first. Make my people better. Look at that. Oh, come on. Attack someone else? Okay. This was hard. <laughs> A hard hit. And. Okay. So we probably took the best, the better choice. Okay, um, let's take a five foot step away from the demoness. And then let's shoot the turn. don't think that we can kill her. I think she will 
come again. How are you doing that? Where is your power coming from? I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Staunton, my darling, I knew you'd come back for me. Really? Shut it! Get over here now. Get behind me. If you want to finish her off, you'll have to step over my dead body first. Killing me won't be a challenge, I know. But I can last long enough to give her time to escape. The Crusaders were right. You're a traitor. You were always a traitor. <laughs> um. Don't do it. And why not? Okay, we don't do the good and the evil. <laughs> Uh, what what does it say? You still have a chance to redeem yourself, or if you betray us, I will get you, and I will make sure that your death is far from quick. Crusaders were right. You're a traitor. Nah, she doesn't love you. Demons don't know how to love. What did she promise you for your betrayal, Dresden? You must know that's a lie. Okay. We'll take the second one because he loves her. You think I don't know that demons cannot love? You think this is news to me? Hmm. <laughs> I know that lying wench can truly love me. But what of it? Maybe I love her anyway. No matter what. And if I don't, what's it got to do with you? Can we get out of this, this conversation and just kill him? She's already given me a lot more than all you crusaders ever did. Compassion, understanding, kind words. So what if it's a lie? I want to believe her lies. I've had enough to hear with yours. Your lies about forgiveness and redemption. Okay. I'm talking. Monago, cast your spells and get out of here. I'll hold him off. Quickly. Before I change my mind. No, my sweet. I won't abandon you. We'll leave this place together. And we'll go where we can be happy. Go. Let me finally... Okay. God damn it all. Let's go. The demon and the traitor vanish in the magical haze. You feel the energy thrumming through your body and soul start to fade. It doesn't leave you, it hides somewhere deep down, leaving behind a small amount of incredible energy as well as the understanding that you will one day master that inconceivably huge power. Probably. Prevent the wardstone from being corrupted. Yay, return, return to allies. Ah, we got our first mythic rank. Please tell me that the pig will also get a mythic rank. Yeah, we will do this only in the next episode. Let's see, is there anything we can, we can get to you? Let's collect. So, area exit. We don't want to exit the area because we want all the stuff. Before getting out here. Now, let's connect all of that. Okay, we did our. F this was probably the first chapter. Oh, more or less.
Okay, if we go down here, normally he should ask us to um, to get everything from this floor. Why didn't he ask us? Interesting. He didn't ask us there as well. Hmm. Let's see if we get it when we move up to the third floor again. Probably get everything also from the basement when we go up there. Yep. Let's collect everything. I hope we can still carry everything. Yeah, we are heavyweight now. <laughs> I thought so that this would happen. Pretty good, aren't I? Yeah, good enough at least. You cannot travel your inventory too. Wait, what? We can't travel your inventory's weight is too great. Okay. Ah, uh, then we will have to get rid of some, some things, like overloaded 2703, oh my gosh, okay, this is worth 50, and it's 420 pounds, this is worth Twenty five. Ah, okay. So let's get rid of this first. Drop. Um, what about that? This is worth two, really. Yeah. Drop it. What about this? 12, 6, yep, yeah. drop this, heavy shields, bathroom it's cold with heavy shields, interesting, these are more or less the same, aren't they? Let's drop it. Let's drop this. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? These are daggers. They weigh nothing. And they bring nothing. The same. Masterwork? No, we don't. Cool Chris, Light Cross Rose. What's that? Uh, flail. Let's drop it. How about this? Stone Swords. Masterwork. 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 Masterwork, are there sites that are not masterwork? Composite longbow. 
Oh, they are quite a, quite worth it. Yeah, let's get rid of these. Spare. What's that? That place. Drop the club. Mm, nope. Oh, what's that? Also a great club. Mitos, masterwork, masterwork, masterwork. Um, let's drop this. Um, so masterwork, no. Warhammer. Let's drop this one. Drop this one. Let's drop this thing. Let's drop these. Um. Uh, they're giving a lot of money, these torches. They're much more worth <laughs> than most of the other things. I mean, is this the masterwork thing? Nope. Ah, uh, it's not. Yeah, they start the work and let's see 12 1 mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yay! We should be good. Let's move. Ha 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 ha. You're quite funny, aren't you? <laughs> I mean... This is also less worth than anything else. Okay, um, how about this? Nope. 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 Five, three. Interesting. Two and two. 
Let's keep this with us. I don't know if we are able to get here again. 25-25 is good. This is a good ratio of weight to money. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's do I don't care. We could we could catch some but uh who cares? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> we did it, my dear friends. And there is some kind of celebration. Okay. People deserve to celebrate. And he deserves to be honored for saving the city and possibly all of Mendo. Mm, that was one hell of a fight. We did it together. If you want to heap more praise on me, don't hold back. <laughs> but someone did more than the rest of us. Don't deny your achievements. There will always be plenty of miserable folk only too happy to tear you down. Yep, of course. According to the watch reports, there has been no demon activity whatsoever outside Canopolis. I get the feeling the fiends are as shocked by what happened as we are. What happened in the garrison? What you did? It was a miracle. I truly believe that the gods remembered us and decided to intervene. Okay. You know that we did something against your god? Yes, <laughs> come on, you agreed. No serious business today. All right, all right, I'm done. No more. <laughs> Who would have thought we'd be celebrating a successful attack on the Grey Garrison, our own fortress, and that we'd blow the roof off the place? <laughs> it's yep. simply unforgivable. Mm, blah, blah, blah. of the roof there's already a rumor going around that you have been blessed by Iomade herself and it was her power granted to you that destroyed the garrison's walls and roof and it turns out the people want a little piece of that blessing for themselves the townsfolk are okay chunks of the garrison's rubble as souvenirs and talismans and i'm sure they'll hit the black market soon enough oh yeah here read on this for me or good luck Okay. <laughs> okay. Because we are night. Nice. Or maybe I'll make a hole in it and wear it as a pendant. Navi. What are you on about now? What do you mean? Do you see many people at this table who've been personally blessed by Ayomade herself? Well, a mm -hmm. couple perhaps. Ayomade's blessings are not conveyed through stones, and as public officials, we really shouldn't. I feel a little chastened after what you said about public officials. Okay, there is the queen. Okay. Are you going to toast me out of this fine establishment? 
Okay, we've got the queen with us. Your, your Majesty. Yes, it is I. I made the journey here to deduct the cost of preparing the garrison roof from your salary. We have not been introduced. Galfrey of Mendev. Yay. Okay, we could read now a really long text about Queen Galfrey. But, yeah. Oh, okay, shake her hand. Shake her, lawful shake her hand. It's an honor, your majesty. <laughs> Didn't expect to be the queen at our table. <laughs> Kiss her hand. The rumor of your beauty were not exaggerated. <laughs> Do not move. The queen has graced us with her <laughs> Okay, that's to the first. Come share your table in a cozy tavern. Your Majesty, we were just... I'll have them arrange. Calm yourself, Commander. I deliberately came here without any fanfare because I did not want to... Where are they even? <laughs> I don't see them. My personal guard and the force I brought with me are standing watch outside the city. Or oh, are we in here? Is this our place? Probably. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, of course. Now you're here. When we needed your troops, you weren't there. Um. Please don't, Your Majesty. Me. We are in a tavern, not my court in Erosian. Address me as you would any comrade in arms. Concerning the celebration, as you can see, I already invited myself. I couldn't pass up the chance to meet the new hero all the Crusaders are talking about. And I'm soon, pretty sure Crusaders. that a queen wouldn't do that. <laughs> because grand new deeds lie ahead, yes? Your Majesty, my dear cousin. <laughs> I think they don't like each other. Count, I admit I was surprised to learn that you valiantly joined the ranks of the city's defenders. Pleasantly surprised. <laughs> I live to please you, my queen. My first thought when Descari cruelly robbed us of noble Terendelev and half of Canabras's crusaders in one fell swoop was of you, my queen, and of how these events would weigh heavily on you. No one could have foreseen the demon attack, and we have so successfully held the defense here for four heroic crusades. I'm going to drown him in the nearest well this very night. <laughs> I value your dedication and your eloquence. I hope you will continue to aid our soldiers. Yeah, of course. Not a chance. You know that I am not made for the front lines. Excellent bash, but alas, I really must go. Important matters to be getting on with. A new ship of wine from Kionin and three beautiful creatures of the same provenance. But I will most assuredly come to say my farewells before your army departs on its campaign, which, wherever it may lead you, will undoubtedly be crowned with victory. Yeah, of course. I shall hold you to that count. And now allow me to devote some time to the hero of the evening. Yeah, please do this. I did not come here solely to give you this chance to celebrate. Um, I should have and official announcements can wait until tomorrow. Not gone out there. Plans for all of you. Especially for you. But I want to keep you in suspense for a little while longer, so I shan't say another word. Let us mark this victory. My first toast is to you. The hero of Canabras. Now, what are we drinking? Um. Okay. The fires of Canabras have died down. Now the army's path leads to the walls of Dresden, a fallen citadel that the Crusaders have been trying in vain to reclaim for 70 years. The new piece on the board might give their efforts some added momentum. Okay. <laughs> yep. 
Yay. We have an achievement. Um, yeah. My dear friends, I will stop here and we will um, start there next time, I guess. Until then, see you soon. Bye.